The movie begins with a woman named Tina, who works at a customs service in the Swedish airport. She has a primitive, animal-like appearance and a heightened sense of smell that allows her to detect emotions such as guilt, shame, and anger in others. This unique ability is beneficial in her job since she can successfully detect people carrying illegal things. Despite this, she is extremely self-conscious about her looks and feels strangely out of place among other people. In the next scene, we see that she lives in a house in the middle of a forest with her boyfriend, Roland. He's a dog trainer and has several dogs in their home. Even though Tina doesn't like dogs and they always bark aggressively at her, she puts up with it for his sake. One day, during their usual work, she sees a passenger and feels he's hiding something. So her coworker checks the man's belongings but discovers nothing odd. The man claims he's late and requests to leave. However, Tina asks for his phone, which she sniffs and discovers a memory card. Seeing this, the man panics and tries to swallow it, but the officers intervene and retrieve the card. When Tina returns to her position, she senses a pleasant smell that does not match any passengers. Moments later, a strange man named Vor shows up, who looks a lot like her. She inspects his suitcase but finds nothing suspicious except some insect catching devices. He then asks if she likes insects too, and she nervously says yes. After work, she goes to see her father at the nursing home. During their conversation, he asks about her relationship with Roland and whether they're sleeping together. This makes it awkward, but he insists he's only looking out for her. He's worried Roland might only be using her since she owns the house and pays the bills. She then clarifies that she only lives with him because she doesn't like living alone. The next day, Tina meets with a police officer named Agneta, who informs her that many videos of child abuse were found on the man's memory card. Curious, she asks Tina how she managed to uncover it, and she explains her ability to sense people's emotions through their smell. When she returns to work, she meets Vor, who has returned from his trip. She has a feeling he's hiding something, but she isn't sure what. So her male coworker takes him to another room and thoroughly examines him. Later, the agent comes out and informs Tina that he found nothing. However, he claims that he's ashamed because the person had female genitalia. He also reveals that there was a large scar on Vor's tailbone. Hearing this, Tina approaches Vor and apologizes for what happened. She tells him that he can register a complaint against them if he wants to. However, he doesn't seem to mind and says that he travels a lot and rarely stays in one place. Before leaving, he gives her the address of the hostel where he's now residing. Later, Tina goes to see her father and asks about the scar on her tailbone. He explains that when she was three, she fell from a tree and got hurt on a rock. She finds it strange that she can't remember this incident, but her father says it's because she was too young. Afterward, while she's heading home, she's stopped by a neighbor who requests her help, claiming that his wife's water has broken. So Tina drives them to the hospital and returns home. Later, while she's sleeping, Roland approaches her and tries to become intimate with her. He claims that he has needs as well, and they should at least give it a try, but she refuses and pushes him off the bed. The next day, Tina goes to see Vor at his hostel, where he's collecting maggots. She says she was just passing by and spotted him, but he doesn't believe her. He then starts eating the maggots and asks if she wants one, but she refuses. However, after some persuasion, she eventually eats a maggot, which she finds delicious. She then asks about his hostel, and he admits it's not that good, but he doesn't have other choices. In the evening, she brings Vor to her home, and upon seeing them, the dogs start barking loudly. However, Vor growls aggressively at them, which scares the dogs and quiets them down. Inside, Tina introduces him to Roland and announces that he will be their paying guest. Roland isn't thrilled about the idea, but he has no choice but to agree. Following this, she guides Vor to a small room where he will be staying. During their talk, he notices a scar on her face and asks how she got it. She claims she was struck by lightning, and hearing this, he also shows her the scar on his chest. He then moves closer and tries to kiss her, but she becomes nervous and leaves. The next day, Tina is with an undercover cop to discover other members of the pedophile network. 
Soon after, they observe a man entering a building, and she smells guilt and perversion in him. So, they pursue the man and end up outside his apartment door. As they glance inside, the man opens the door and begins shouting at them. Tina explains that they accidentally got the wrong apartment, but the man threatens to call the cops. They apologize and proceed to leave, when suddenly they hear a baby crying from inside. Upon reaching the station, they inform Agneta about what happened. They claim to have heard a baby crying inside, but there's no record of that child in the documents. Tina says she's confident that they are violating infants in there and should take immediate action. However, Agneta asks her to wait and says they can't arrest him without concrete evidence. In the following scene, Tina and Vor are walking together when she explains that, as a child, she believed she was special like fairies. However, as she grew older, she understood that she was simply a human with a chromosome defect. He assures her that there's nothing wrong with her, but she claims that her organs are deformed and that she cannot have children. Afterward, Tina is with her neighbors who recently had a baby. At that point, Vor arrives, claiming he was looking for Tina since he needed the saucepan. Upon seeing the newborn, he becomes very excited and sweetly interacts with the baby. That evening, we see Vor in his room, screaming in pain. He then goes into the forest and pushes himself with all of his strength. Moments later, we figure out that he is giving birth to a baby. The next day, Tina and the cop return to the building and they discover that the suspects have gone outside. So they quickly break into the empty apartment. There, they discover a baby crib and Tina smells something foul. She soon discovers a trophy and inside it, there's a camera. They check its contents and are horrified to see footage of an adult violating an infant. Afterward, they present the evidence to Agneta, and the apartment's owner is immediately arrested. However, he tries to deny that the camera belongs to him and claims innocence. Sometime later, Tina is at home when it starts to rain heavily. Vor also arrives, and both get scared of the lightning so they hide under a table and hold each other during the thunderstorm. After the rain stops, the two venture into the forest and get closer. They start to growl and kiss each other. Tina says that her private parts are deformed, but he does not stop. Moments later, Tina is shocked when a male organ emerges from her groin. Following this, they end up making love for hours. In the evening, Vor finally discloses to her that she is not a human, but a troll, just like him. He explains that they belong to a different species, who used to be tortured by humans in the past. Vor mentions that there's a community of trolls in Finland that tries to survive away from the civilized world. He then asks if she wants to go with him to Finland, and Tina agrees. Over the next few days, the two have fun making love and bathing in the lake. One evening, Vor tells her that one day, trolls will take revenge on the humans. He reveals that his parents were subjected to several experiments in the past and eventually died, leaving him an orphan. Tina then tells him that she recently helped cops in capturing a pedophile who appeared to be normal on the outside. Hearing this, he states that the human race is a dangerous disease and they hurt their own offspring. Tina insists it isn't true because her father is a good man but he claims her father has been lying to her all along. The next day, she visits her father at the nursing home and demands to know about her biological parents. He tries to dodge her questions, but she gets angry and accuses him of causing her insecurity throughout her life. Due to her shouting, he gets very scared, and soon a nurse arrives and asks Tina to leave. When she returns home, Roland's dog begins barking at her aggressively. So, she angrily growls at the dog, causing him to shut up. Seeing this, Roland gets very annoyed and asks what happened. However, Tina frantically throws the TV outside the home and kicks him out as well. Later, she talks to Vor and discovers that he has placed tapes inside the fridge. She asks about it, but he explains that some things should remain private. She then informs him that she kicked Roland out, and Vor seems happy about it. In the following days, the couple spends time together running in the forest and being intimate. Tina informs him that from now on, she wants to accept reality and live her true self. 
In the next scene, Vor isn't home, so Tina goes to his room and unlocks the fridge. There, she discovers a box which contains a strange infant. This frightens her, so she hastily places the box in the fridge and leaves. The following day, the main perpetrator of the pedophile ring is supposed to lead the police to the criminal who provides the abused babies. All of a sudden, a moose appears in front of their car, forcing them to halt. During this time, someone drags the pedophile guy out of the car and brutally murders him within seconds. When the police step outside, they find nobody there except the dead guy on the ground. Soon after, the emergency team arrives along with Tina, who is horrified to see the dead man. She returns home and angrily confronts Vor about what happened. He admits that he had to kill the guy since he did not deserve to live. She then asks about the baby in the fridge, and he replies that it's known as a hisi, which is a dying troll embryo. Though it looks like a human baby, its body is mud-like and they don't experience sensations and only eat and sleep. He claims they don't survive long, so he transforms them into human babies and swaps them. Hearing this, Tina questions what he does with real human kids, and he reveals that he sells them to pedophiles. It is part of his retaliation as a troll against the humans who tortured his species. Tina is horrified and claims that it's very evil behavior, but he says that humans should suffer as much as trolls do. The two then get into a heated argument and Tina eventually leaves and heads to the forest where she eats some worms. Sometime later, she hears commotion from her neighbor's house and goes to check. The neighbors explain that their baby was attacked while they were outside. She sees the infant and notes that it looks like his hisi in the fridge. She realizes that Vor swapped their baby with the hisi, which he purposely made to look like their child. Following this, she rushes to Vor's room to confront him, but he's not there. Instead, she discovers a note where he states that he's leaving for Finland and invites her to join. In the evening, she meets him at the ferry he's taking, and Vor is delighted to see her. He proposes that they should stay together and continue with their species. However, she refuses, saying that although she's not human, she does not like the idea of hurting them. After all, she was raised by a human, and she believes that not all people are evil. Just then, cops arrive, and it turns out Tina had summoned them earlier. They quickly arrest him while he tells Tina that he will see her soon. Moments later, the handcuffed Vor manages to escape by jumping overboard into the water. The police immediately start searching for him, but his body is not found. The next morning, Tina's father arrives home and finally admits that he is not her biological father. He explains that years ago, he used to work as a janitor at a psychiatric hospital where her real parents underwent various tortures and experiments. Feeling bad for Tina, he chose to adopt her and raise her as a human. He then discloses her real name, Reva, which was given to her by her parents. He informs her that her troll parents are dead and gives her the location of their graves. Later, Tina drives to the old hospital where she discovers her parents' graves and becomes emotional. A few months later, Tina finds a package on her porch containing a troll infant and a postcard from Finland. Realizing the baby is hers, she follows the natural instincts of any living being and decides to raise him. In the final scene, she's seen feeding insects to her baby and embracing his natural behavior.